Yeah, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Ray Huang uh, from uh, National Chinese University, Taiwan. I'm so uh, privileged uh, to have this great opportunity uh, to give the presentation and uh, to uh, discuss with you uh, for the evening uh, issue. Uh, of course, uh, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Nancy for giving me uh, this opportunity. Okay, uh, right now uh, I'm uh, conducting uh, uh, yeah, ICT education and learning uh, programs uh, of uh, Taiwan uh, MOE. Okay, and uh, initiated uh, in the beginning of uh, uh, 2008, uh, this project uh, is a part of uh, Taiwan learning and uh, digital uh, archive uh, programs and uh, conducted by uh, Taiwan Ministry of Education. The objective uh, is to uh, expand the application or courseware of e-learning, not only uh, in formal education, but also lifelong uh, learning, so that uh, talent and the human uh, resources can be effectively uh, nurtured and utilized, so as to raise the quality and the skill level of Taiwan human resources. Okay, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, give you uh, an overview, achievement and future task uh, by following uh, just uh, our lines. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm going to give you a, a brief uh, overview of the uh, a project we call uh, DEELP, means uh, Digital Education and E-Learning uh, pro uh, Project. Uh, but this project actually uh, building a learning platform uh, is not a main issue here instead. This project emphasizes the content and courseware that can be used nationwide and hardly implemented by a single school or university. It covers the application and the courseware for formal education and lifelong learning. For uh, the uh, formal uh, uh, education, uh, there are uh, four sub-projects covering from primary uh, school, uh, high school, and uh, uh, universities. The four sub-projects are directly supervised by Taiwan Ministry of Education. As you can see uh, from this uh, video, uh, coordinated by uh, MOE, this project also get three other uh, government organs involved. They are uh, council uh, for uh, sorry, they, they are council of uh, labor of affairs, uh, culture. <laughs> and the Council for Cultural, sorry, yeah, Central of Personnel Administration and the Council for Cultural Affairs. They are in charge of uh, e-learning for labels and civil servants, as well as uh, e-learning of uh, art and cultural uh, projects. By the project, we hope to achieve uh, the following uh, regions. First of all, we hope to uh, cultivate extend, <laughs> extensive uh, training of talents in the implementation and application of e-learning. Next, to develop and uh, promote the use of digital curriculum and the teaching materials in formal education and to enhance the effectiveness of formal education. The third, to integrate resources for level life uh, long learnings. Basically, this is a conduct um, by a council of the labels. And the fourth, to integrate e-learning resources among various, various government organs to cultivate multi-talented people in the public uh, sector. Finally, the last is to establish information websites of e-learning in the field of art, culture, and creativity for all people. Okay, uh, here, uh, is a portal, and uh, you can uh, uh, look at uh, if I'm interested. Uh, 
Okay, in the following, I'd like to give you uh, the current uh, status uh, of the projects. As uh, uh, mentioned previously, uh, this project uh, mainly uh, focuses on the development of cost wire and the materials. However, without accompanying some effective teaching plan and uh, training of uh, programs, uh, those cost wire and the material cannot be fully utilized. So uh, we must have uh, a, a series of uh, training uh, pro uh, programs and uh, teaching uh, plans to support uh, those uh, uh, materials. Okay, uh, here are the website constructed uh, by uh, MOE uh, Council for Cultural Affairs. Uh, yeah, yeah, Council of Cultural Affairs. Uh, Central Personnel Administration and uh, uh, Council of Labor Affairs. For our training programs, we create a series of uh, online uh, calls to train our people, mainly the school teachers, to become digital trainer, e-learning instruction designers, or e-material uh, designers. There are over 1,000 teachers who have been certificated by this uh, program. So basically, uh, we think uh, we should you know, uh, train uh, those teachers who doesn't, who, who don't have the emerging technology uh, background, you know, to create their course well. So that's that's uh, the uh, uh, this uh, the training program, uh, the purpose of this training program. And next, uh, for a senior or uh, high and the vocational school, we provide learning materials in five subjects. Namely, Chinese, history, mathematics, biology, and information technology. Each of them has a 90 teaching uh, unit, so that high school teacher can optionally select some of them to their lecture or courses. For college and university, we create e materials of those subject of uh, so-called general education, such as art, health, and so on. There are uh, 18 working groups responsible for curriculum development. We also uh, have uh, online uh, training uh, course to train those teachers who are going to use uh, those uh, course well. Okay, and for uh, uh, junior and the primary schools, we uh, mainly cover three areas, which are natural science, social science, as well as art and humanity. We are encouraging and assisting primary and the junior high school teacher to use those archive resources, transforming them into first to ninth grade curriculum learning object or courses, and promoting the use of information technology in teaching. Okay, and here uh, is the portal of uh, uh, MOE, so that uh, any uh, people can download the teaching uh, materials from this uh, official uh, website. As mentioned, uh, we have uh, five courses for uh, senior uh, high students. Now I'm going to uh, show you an example of Chinese uh, course and to see how information, the modern information technology can be used you know, to interpret the uh, traditional Chinese literature. <coughs> 